Okay, as I mentioned in my blog post, sometimes what we need to do as internet marketers is take a column of URLs and pull the domain out of them. And so I'm going to show you how to do that using a combination of the left and search functions. So we're just going to pull it in over here. We'll title this domain. All right, so first what we're going to do is grab the left function. So the first parameter of the left function is text, which just means which cell is the text in. You can also actually type out text, but most people don't do that. You just reference a cell. And what I did was I just used my arrow keys instead of my mouse to grab that cell. and then a comma and next we need to know the number of characters well since all of these domains are different that number is going to be variable so this is where we're going to use the search function to say okay search for this forward slash and pull that number of characters because the search function returns the position of this and the position just happens to be the number of characters that we need so We'll just start to type in search here. And if you're on a PC, you can just hit tab uh, to automatically select it. On the Mac, you can't do that. You have to use a down arrow to grab search, or you can select it with your mouse, or you can just type it all the way out. Okay, so the first parameter asks, what character do you want to find? We want to find a forward slash. And since this is text, we need to wrap it in quotation marks. Then within text just says, well, where do you want Excel to look for that? Again, I'm just going to use my left arrow and say B3. And then the start num is an optional parameter. Most of the time you won't need this because you'll just start searching for your character from the beginning. In our case, these two forward slashes here actually make that problematic because we don't want Excel to grab that first forward slash and just pull the HTTP colon forward slash. We want it to ignore those two forward slashes and just grab the next one. So if you look at here, I'm just going to put an apostrophe here just to kind of hold that. So if you look at HTTP, we'll just take this S out. And if we use the, the len function, that just pulls out the length or the number of characters in a string. And you can see that has seven characters. Well, if we add the S, then that's going to be eight characters. So what we want to tell Excel is go ahead and start searching for the ninth character. Oops. And I'm not, I have to get rid of that to get the, the little prompts here. So we're just going to use 9. And then you'll see that in Excel we have two red parentheses and you'll know that you have the end parentheses if it's bold and black. So we'll just do that and there you go. Now all you have to do is just double click on this bottom right corner to send it down and then that pulls all of the domains from our list of URLs. Now to use this in a pivot table, what you'll need to do is convert this to text. Excel won't be able to use these functions in the pivot table. So then what I just do is, while it's still selected, I just, oops, I just press Command C or Control C, uh, Control V to paste, and then I just choose values and then escape to deselect it and get rid of the marching ants. Now you can see we have the actual domain, which is exactly what we want.